Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this week I've been testing out the RoboSpin MSD Automatic Mopping Robotic Cleaner. This little robotic cleaner is a dual spin cleaning robot. So it has a integrated freshwater wiping function. That means that there's a few discs on the bottom and as it spins across your floor, it ejects water onto the microfiber pads. It's that spinning action that gets your floor so clean when you're using the robo spin and it's really easy to set up. To look at the bottom of the robo spin, as you can see, there are two disc attachments. That's where the fresh water uh, discs are held, as well as the microfiber pads. They clip right on there. There's an on off switch. So it's a very lightweight unit. It's not even, it's just about six and a half pounds. It's very, very light. And these are the microfiber pads that you will attach to the discs, and those discs attach to the bottom of the robo spin. To control the RoboSpin, there is a remote control. That remote control works to choose a different cleaning mode. There's five cleaning modes with the RoboSpin, as well as you can use it as a remote control, much like you would use a remote control car where you can actually navigate the RoboSpin across your floor. Each of these discs fills up with water. It uh, holds quite a bit. I'm not exactly sure how much, but it does hold enough to clean your floor for as long as the battery will last. You just pop open that little plastic piece there and you uh, add water through your tap in the sink and then you close it up and that's when you attach the microfiber pad. You'll have to be sure to wet the microfiber pads before you attach them because that's how it will clean your floor. Once you do that, you just have to attach the discs to the bottom of the RoboSpin. Um, see, I've attached the microfiber pads here. You just attach the discs to the bottom of the RoboSpin and you hit the power button and you're ready to go. So there are five cleaning functions on the RoboSpin. There are five automatic modes. There's border cleaning, Y-shape cleaning, S-shape cleaning, turbine mode, or manual mode. All of these modes are accessible via the remote control. It'd be a good thing to note that if you lose that remote control or you lose the charging cable that comes with the RoboSpin, you won't be able to charge it and you won't be able to control it. You can hit that blue button and it will turn on, but you need the remote control to choose different cleaning methods. You can see the water trail as the RoboSpin spins on my floor. Uh, I did pre-treat a few of the bigger dirt marks that I had on the floor, but I almost didn't really need to with this mop. I, I have used different floor mopping robots before, and I find that they kind of just, you know, go over the surface and they do pick up dust and they work great for that. But as for scrubbing, they never really did the trick. So the reason why the RoboSpin is so good at cleaning your floor is because it's literally spinning. Those discs are spinning and the robot is spinning and it will actually scrub and scour your floor. I tried out all of the cleaning modes and I let the robo spin clean my floor for two hours and 15 minutes before the battery died. That is a seriously impressive battery life on a robot cleaner of any kind. Out of all the modes, I believe I preferred the uh, just the manual mode and for under the cupboards and everything, the border mode. Because of the body design of the robot, I found it couldn't get as close to the kickboards underneath my cupboards as maybe a square-shaped robot could, but it did a really good job. It would spin really, really close to the cupboard, as close as it could possibly get, and it would take a wipe, and then it would go back and do it again. At the end of my cleaning session, I had seriously clean floors and it was it was just surprising to me because I have a floor mopping robot that has not um, done much more other than just pull dust up and it does give it a good try with the um, mopping pads and everything, but with the robo spin, it's literally spinning until the floor is clean. I let it charge for about two hours before I set it off to clean and I did, like I said, I timed it. I got two hours and 15 minutes of cleaning with the exception of stopping at one point because the uh, RoboSpin tried to go over a transition strip uh, between my bathroom and my hallway and it was stopped by that. So I don't have any stairs to uh, test it out on a different floor, so I don't know how RoboSpin will work on 
a, like a place with stairs, whether or not it would continue, if it would stop, like it stopped from my transition strip or if it would continue and just go over the stairs. I'm not sure. It does come with some bumpers that you can attach so that it doesn't harm your furniture, but I haven't seen anything on this robot that would show or would indicate that it would. It, it bumps very lightly. The plastic on the side gives a little when it does bump into furniture and it's very gentle. I don't think that this uh, robot back, floor mopping robot would actually impact your furniture at all. The RoboSpin is also a very quiet device. Here's a listen at what it sounds like. I'm definitely not a fan of mopping the floor. I find it to be a very tiring process and the floor is dirty almost immediately after, thanks to kids and animals or whatever. But with the Robo Spin, I don't have to mop the floor. It will just spin around the house on all of my floors. It seems to cover a really great area. It, I don't think I've had to pick it up very often to take it into a new area unless it was completely stuck but it does the job and it does it well. I can't say that I had any complaints about how it worked. The battery life was very long lasting. I was so impressed with the two hours and 15 minutes that it did clean and it's very easy to charge. A hundred minute charge, maybe two hours max and you're good to go for another two hours of cleaning. When you're done cleaning, all you have to do is pop those discs back off, throw the microfiber pads into the wash machine and you're ready to clean again. The other thing that I really like about the RoboSpin is that you don't have to purchase pads of any kind for this floor cleaning robot. All you have to do is keep washing those microfiber pads. They seem very durable. Pop them back on and you're good to clean again. If you're looking for a floor cleaning robot or you just don't like mopping and you're interested in one that is really going to lift stains and dirt off your floor, I think that the RoboSpin is it. It really did a good job on my floor. I purposely left a whole bunch of dirt and different things and, and it lifted it right up. It had to go back a few times sometimes if it was particularly dirty um, and I don't think that it has it doesn't have internal mapping like some robots will, but it does a really good job of covering the entire floor and it does a really great job of scouring. So that's it for my look at the RoboSpin, a floor mopping robot. You can see my full written review as well as other photos on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.